Rustic, hey, good morning. Cool, I love seeing everybody just join. It's so deadly. This is so cool. Um, okay, so welcome. Welcome to, I have no idea what day it is. Wednesday, Wednesday. Welcome to Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning yoga. So begin by just taking a moment, just take a breath, just land, land in your body. So whether you're sitting, standing, standing on one foot, just see, can you land in your body? And my kind of idea for today, we're still, we're going to be working through on the, through um, a lot of the IRS kind of ideas in the meditation part. But what I'm looking at today is just strength. So if you've been working with us, if you've been here all along, I suspect you'll notice that your strength is building doing this every day. And if today is your first day, then notice where you are today because that physicality, the physical strength will build. But your physical strength is purely a mirror. So just celebrate being here and developing this inner strength because it's the inner strength um, is really one of our greatest strengths is being able to be peaceful. So noticing what puts us off balance. So when we go on our toes, what puts you off balance? Noticing in your day what puts you off balance. And then choosing, am I going to leave the radio on? Am I going to turn it off? Today in this morning's practice, decide, am I going to stay on my toes even though I'm off balance and let that be a playground for me today? Or do I want to choose to come up? So whichever way, to see how it is. So beginning by just taking a breath in, sighing it out. And for yourself in your own body, setting an intention. So for me today, it's strength. Peaceful strength. And then from that place, from that, that intention from this morning's practice, let's come to standing. So as always, first thing in the morning, or you can watch this video a couple of times during the day, you know, taking half an hour, at the end of your work, if you're trying to work from home and having a repeat is a great idea. But have a little wriggle, shake it out. See what feels nice for you. You might want side bends. Coming forward. Release shoulders, release your jaw. Release your head and neck. Be careful at this stage about bringing your head back. Don't bring your head back because you haven't length yet. But looking to get length. If you want to bring your head back, have your hand under your head and you let it come back so it's supportive. Maybe even into a little back arch. And just see how you are. Feel your way through it. Allowing this movement come. So let's start to bring into a more rhythmical movement. Feel from your feet, allow the movement come from your feet. So as you maybe come into a kind of a flowing twist, allow that movement come from your feet. Feel the feet moving from side to side. Then take the feet out of it, just from the ankles. Take the ankles out of it, so just from the knees up. Take the knees out of it, so it's from the hips up. Take the hips out of it, so now it's purely upper body that's moving. As you do this, feel that the lower body is solid but not propped. Take the waist out of it, so it's just shoulders and head and neck. Take the shoulders out of it, head and neck. And then allow the head and neck come to stillness too. Let's play with the idea of propped versus, for me, I feel quite in balance now. That has brought me into balance, but let's just see. Coming to propped, this whole Sergeant Major thing. Everything rich. Coming to teenager, wondering is the leaves are going to happen. Parat, teenager. And then find between these two what is your natural neutral for today. And then take a breath. From this breath, I'm just going to make sure you can see my head, we're going to start our rolling down. So, what are we looking for in our roll down? We're looking to take a breath into heart, hands to heart. On an exhale, coming in a little bit, bending everything, curling everything, closing everything a little bit. So that on your inhale, we get to open up a little bit. 
on an exhale, coming in a little bit more, rolling everything, get it all soft. And on the inhale, maybe coming onto your toes a little bit more. Third time, coming down. Can you bend the knees? Can you really roll in? Third ex inhale, we're coming onto our toes and including a back arch. Today I can't do that on my toes. Trying one more time. Curling down and then reaching up onto your toes, maybe, and maybe with a back arch. Exhaling, coming back down. When we come down this time, let's come to flat back. So what does flat back mean? Straight legs, 90 degree turn at your hips, coming to a long head and neck. From here, come into your squat. Come the whole way into your squat and just play with your squat. What's your squat like for today? Can you be on your toes, a little bit light? Can you be on your feet? I can't keep my back as tall and be on my feet, but there's this play. And from our squat, let's come into the lunge. So playing with your squat, let's play with the lunge. The so hands on the ground, stepping back with the right foot. Playing with the lunge, sitting back, coming forward, walk, warming up these hips, not walking, warming up the hips. Seeing how it is. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. So instead of stepping forward, let's step to the side. So we're into this side, wide leg side. And let's go from side to side here. Warming up the hips. Here are all the crackles and creaks in my body. And then we're going to turn one more time. And so we're in the opposite direction. Moving forward and back. Bending the front knee. Straightening the back knee. Straightening the front knee. Bending the back knee. Looking to take your butt down to that place where you go, oh, hello leg. And then back to center. And back, coming back up. Stepping together to the front of your mat. Next time we're going to go into plank. Well, the whole, the full sequence. Let your breath settle. Notice the heat building, internal heat, when you're ready. Taking a breath in. On an exhale, curling in a little bit, opening up a little bit, maybe onto your toes. Exhaling, coming down a little bit more. Inhaling, now here's the power. Can you come onto your toes? Can you feel that instability? And is it okay? Do you want to bring in a back arch? Exhaling, staying on your toes. If you want to make it more difficult, coming the whole way down or coming to flat back this time. From flat back, we're coming into our squat. From our squat, we're coming into plank. So have your hands ready, spread your fingers, and you step or jump back into plank. Take a breath in plank. Check out how it is. How are your shoulders? Do you need to take your bum up a little bit? Avoid banana back. To avoid this kind of banana back, keep it at a strong back. When you're ready, knees, chest, chin. Laying your body down. So eight point pose, chaturanga, or laying your body down. Come long before you come up. So cobra is not about coming up high, it's coming long. Exhaling back down, nose to the ground as you use your arms and belly to bring yourself back up, watching your back. Tucking your toes from here and coming into dog. First dog of the day, so play. Walk in one leg, walk in the other leg, bending both knees, taking your foot back. Playing in dog, finding your way in dog. Easing and releasing and then, in a moment when you're ready. 
Stepping with the right foot forward. Left foot to meet it. And coming down to come up. So using your squat, bringing yourself back, standing, and back to prayer. Let your breath settle. When you're ready, we're going again. Inhaling, reaching for the stars. Exhaling, curling down. Inhaling, coming back up. Can you come onto your toes? Can you bring it a back arch? Exhaling, coming the whole way down, this time into your squat. And from your squat, stepping back into plank. Stepping from plank, laying your body down. Coming to cobra, long cobra. From cobra, nose to the ground. Pushing yourself back through tabletop into dog. And this dog, see about staying stable in this dog. So rather than wiggling, what's it like to find stillness? Inner strength. Find your powerful self. And that's not power over someone, that's personal power, internal power. And then when you're ready, stepping, or if you want to jump, feet back to the center. From here, in, coming into the squat as you come on up into, and back to prayer. Let your breath settle. From here, coming on down, we're, we're coming to our back, but we're just going to take a little stop first. So as we come down, heading down into our squat. From your squat, let's just play a little bit with the squat. Can you take your hands on the ground? Can you take your knees to your elbows? Depending on how your wrists are, maybe you can just have a little bunny hop. So hands are spread on the ground, elbows are struck wrists. Knees are against your elbows, and then see about a little bunny hop. And from your bunny hop forward, see about taking a little roll back and coming onto your back. We're looking to build strength, you're looking to build flow. What's it like? Can you come roll onto your butt, have a little wriggle from side to side without losing that power? Lying flat on your back, then. Lying on your back, bringing yourself to windscreen wipers. So feet, the distance of your mat, if you have a mat, are just for slightly wider than your hips, if you don't have a mat. And allowing the knees just fall from one side to the other side, so windscreen wipers. From there, hugging your knees into your chest. And from that, bringing yourself to constructive rest. So constructive rest is when you're lying flat on your back. Knees are bent up. We're coming into bridge. So put, finding our way into bridge, you can't see me, finding your way into bridge is from the feet. So the feet are going into the ground, yielding, taking the support of the earth, and then allowing that movement come up through your legs, through your pelvis, into your spine. Feeling into the ground, finding the ground with your feet, and then letting it become light. So you become light as you take yourself up. The power is in the feet, is in surrendering into the support that's there for you. The ground is beneath you as support. Take that support, receive the support that's around you. Last one, if you want to hold it this time, hold it. And as you hold it, maybe walk one shoulder, the other shoulder in. And maybe some of you can interlock your hands underneath. Your hands are staying on the ground, interlocked underneath. And then releasing the hands. See about rolling down. Now here's your challenge. Can you just let your upper back on the ground? Can you let your mid back on the ground? Can you let your lower back on the ground? Can you then take your knees into your chest and have a little hug, a little rock and roll? 
That roll down is really subtle. So if this is your first morning, just come down. If you've been working on it for, for the couple of weeks or in a couple of weeks time, you're looking to really take that vertebra by vertebrae. When you're happy, having a little roll, maybe a little happy baby, which is where your feet are, you're holding your feet in your hands in this position and then playing. And eventually rolling over either onto your side and coming into yourself to sitting or if you like rocking forward and back, rock yourself forward and back and come up to sit. And find your stability now. We're coming to seated. Remembering you can do this lying down if you choose. Make yourself comfortable. This inner, inner stillness is not about inner uh, torture. So if you've got a blanket, you can put a blanket around you. If you're practicing with someone, it's nice to practice back to back. You'll practice against a wall. If you're practicing against a wall, Make sure you put something behind you so that it's not cold against the wall. Put something under your knees if you need to. And then bring your attention to your breath. There's going to be a little bit more silence, hopefully, as these days go on. So be comfortable in the silence. Know that we haven't gone away. It hasn't been a failure of technology. And if your whole technology has failed and you're here for half an hour, wow, isn't that just amazing? So just trust. Notice in your nervous system if you start to lose that trust. If you start to worry, feel how it feels and just be with it. Notice the sensations in your body. Notice your mouth, your ears, your spine, your belly, your hips, your legs, your feet, your hands, your fingers. And notice your breath. Have this imaginary imagination that you're taking the breath into the belly and from there you're sending it through all the areas in your body. And so if you have this picture maybe of an amoeba or of a cell that is pulsing, that that's what we've become, one cell in this bigger organism of the world. Your entire body radiating, pulsing. And then allow your attention come to your heart's deepest desire. What is it to have life live through you? Notice if you judge yourself, if you're saying that's not enough, that's not good enough. Just notice what comes up for you and be with it. Knowing that there is no right or wrong answer to these questions. One way of thinking about your heart's deepest desire is how do you want to be remembered? Allowing that be and knowing that you have an opportunity to live like that now. And from there, let's travel to your inner resource. Your inner resource, your place of stillness, that calm, that idea. Sometimes it might be after you just completed a fantastic piece of work and you just had this moment of satisfaction or stillness. It could be in the garden, it could be walking by a beach. Just that moment where there's nothing to do, nowhere to go, nowhere to be. 
and allowing yourself to really feel that moment. Make it real for yourself. Listen to the sounds that are there and it can be real or imaginary. Could be being held by a loved one. We've all had these moments. And today you're using your imagination to make this solid, real experience in your body. What are the sounds, the smell, the feeling, the sensation of touch? Allow yourself to drop into that space. This space is a truly a space within you. Allow the, sen the memories or the imagination fade away and be with the sensation, with the feeling in your body. Your inner resource. Each time we travel to this place, we make it easier. We're wearing that path more and more. so that in time, no matter what's going on around you, you can just drop into this space. This will be a well-worn path that you can come to. And then let it go. Knowing that in letting it go, you're not actually letting it go because it's within you, it is you. Our mantra for today, being at peace is my greatest strength. Being at peace is my greatest strength. We've been building physical strength in the body. We've been playing with being out of balance, coming onto our toes, we're out of balance and yet we're strong, we wibble and wobble, but yet we do not fall. And if we fall, we just get back up again. Being at peace is my greatest strength. Being at peace is my greatest strength. In these moments of silence, what happens is, as things become quiet, things can bubble up to the surface. That's part of the power of meditation. So if you suddenly have thoughts or memories, rather than berate yourself, be with them and let them go. Let them come and let them go. Always knowing you can come back to that inner resource, that imagination that you had at the start.
being at peace is my greatest strength. Knowing that we protect ourselves so nothing, no memories will come up, nothing will come up that is not possible for you to deal with. No situation comes up that it is not possible for you to deal with. Being at peace is my greatest strength. And so now bringing your attention to your heart to let your heart fill with joy. Allow your heart fill with joy, allow that joy just pass through from your heart out through every different cell through your body. I love the image of white wine being spilt on a white tablecloth, sorry, red wine. White wine doesn't make near as much enough of a mess. And as the red wine spills in the tablecloth, it just moves capillary by capillary. Imagine all of the people around you having a complete kitten because the white linen tablecloth has been destroyed and you're just standing there enjoying this, enjoying the beauty of the red wine spreading its way, moving. This joy moving from your heart through your entire body to your limbs. Fingers, toes. Knowing that all around you people can be having a kitten about the white, the red wine on the tablecloth. You can be here in this joy. You can be a beacon of light for yourselves and those around you. And so as this joy passes from your heart, the whole way through your entire body, start to sense and feel your body. Feel the sensation of your body against the ground. Feel the air, feel your clothes. And I invite you to use your breath to change this state of stillness and notice your breath in this stillness how calm and soft it is almost like it's not there at all and so taking a deeper breath in and sighing it out as we change and so now it starts to activate through your body maybe start to rub the sides of your body maybe open and close your eyes a little bit Maybe turning your head, moving, wiggling, finding your way back, taking your hands together. 